Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lessons 7.3 and 7.4, day one, how to classify triangles and quadrilaterals. So basically, what kind of triangles are you seeing and what kind of quadrilaterals are you seeing? It's really just a lot of drawing shapes um, and writing down what they are. So you're going to be looking for 13 different things today in your notes. It is a lot because there are a lot of shapes, but it's again, it's really simple stuff. So let's go ahead and get started on it. First thing you're going to draw in your notes and label are these four triangles at first. So these, you're classifying the triangles using angles. Acute triangles have all acute angles, meaning all angles are less than 90 degrees. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. That's one angle bigger than or greater than 90 degrees. A right triangle has just one angle equivalent to 90 degrees. An equiangular triangle just means that there are three congruent angles. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video, draw and label all of the triangles, and once you're done, click play. The next three we're going to look at are how to figure out um, triangles and classify them using their sides. So these you've probably heard before as well. A scaling triangle has no congruent sides. Isosceles triangles have two congruent sides. And an equilateral triangle has all three congruent sides. The tick marks show that these two sides are equal. So make sure that you also include those tick marks too. Again, we're gonna take time now to pause the video. And once you're done, click play to try the next two. So these two, you're gonna classify each triangle by the angles and the sides. The first word you're gonna use is gonna represent the angles. So what type of angle? And then the second word you would use represents the sides. So go ahead and try that real quick by pausing the video. And once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so number three has an obtuse angle. And the sides, notice there's no angles, correct? All the same, so that means it's none of the sides are the same. So that would be a scaling. So number three is an obtuse scaling triangle. Number four, all the angles are acute. And there are two sides that are the same, so that would be an isosceles. Okay, um, I just need to make sure I'm spelling isosceles correct. Isosceles, yep. So isosceles would be your number four. The next slide you're also going to try. Again, you're going to classify by the angles and the sides. So go ahead and take time now to pause the video. Try numbers five and six. And once you're done, click play. So this first one, number five, is a it has a right angle. And again, it has two. It has two um, angles or two. Um, sides that are the same, so that would be a right isosceles. For number six, this one has all equal sides and all equal angles, so you could just call this one simply equilateral. If you wanted to be more specific, you could say equiangular equilateral. equilateral. Try to say that ten times fast. The next part is we're going to look at is quadrilaterals. And quadrilaterals means a four-sided figure. Um, so what we're going to be doing is writing a flow chart of quadrilaterals. Um, you are going to be writing down the entire flow chart and what, how each of the shapes are represented. So underneath quadrilateral, you have three types. You have a trapezoid, which has exactly one pair of parallel sides. You have a parallelogram, which means you have two pairs of parallel sides and the opposite sides are congruent. And then for a kite, that's your other form of quadrilateral. Though the kites have two pairs of congruent sides and then the opposite sides are not congruent. So it literally looks like a kite. Okay, so the two sides right next to one another adjacent are the same. And same thing for the other two sides. They don't have any parallel sides though. Underneath parallelogram, you have three types of parallelograms. You have a rectangle, and basically a rectangle just needs to have four right angles. A square must have four right angles and four congruent sides, and a rhombus is just going to have four congruent sides. 
Okay, so keep that in mind as we're doing our work over here. Um, go ahead and pause the video now if you haven't done so already to write down the entire diagram, the three types of quadrilaterals, and then the three types of parallelograms. Make sure you have their descriptions too for each one of these. And once you're done, click play, and we're going we're gonna to try to classify some. All right, so here we go. We're going to try these together. This first one is a trapezoid. Number two is a parallelogram. Three is a square. And four is a rectangle. So again, very, very easy to do. These you're going to do on your own. So these are the last eight through 13 in your notes. Go ahead and it says classify the quadrilateral. I'm going to scoot this down so you can see the last one better. But go ahead and try numbers 8 through 13. Let's pause it real quick. And once you're done, click play. All right, so number four is going to be a rhombus. Number nine, or sorry, not number four. Number eight will be a rhombus. Number nine is a square. Ten is a rectangle. 11 is a parallelogram, 12 is a trapezoid, and 13 is a kite. Okay, so that's going to conclude our notes for today. Again, all we did is we classified many types of triangles with their angles and sides and quadrilaterals. You have three types of quadrilaterals, and under parallelograms, you have three types of parallelograms. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.